Hey everyone, it's the Cray Spartan again, and today is class for bad warthog drivers everywhere. A good driver and a good gunner can be a major force to be reckoned with on the battlefield. So the major point of this video is to give you some tips and tricks to become a better driver. First and foremost is communication, especially if you are playing pro version where there is no radar. I suggest using clock positions to call out enemy targets. When I say clock positions, imagine your warthog's front is 12 o'clock, the rear is 6 o'clock, left is 9, and right is 3. Anyone that hears that will easily understand what you are saying and thus they can bring the turret to bear on the target and get you another kill. Now for the actual driving tips. Number one, slow down. What craze? This is a video game. Why do I have to slow down? Well, there are times when putting the hammer down is a good thing. But more often than not, it is the last thing you want to do. Here's why. When you are speeding as fast as the hog will go, you are much more likely to flip your vehicle, thus kicking you and your gunner out, making you a sitting target for grenades and other munitions. So slow the vehicle down to keep better control. Plus, if you are moving at a fast speed, the hog will be bouncing around so much that you won't be able to keep a target in sight. So slow it down. Now here's a way to practice controlling the warthog better. Put in your old copy of Halo Reach and jump into multi-team playlist or big team battle. Vote for Rocket Race when that comes up and then do your best to win while keeping your hog's wheels on the ground. The Halo Reach Warthog is easily the squirreliest version to drive and to keep it on all four wheels while getting shot at with rockets is a true test of your driving skill. The next big tip you need to know is how to engage the enemy. Now I'm sure you have done this, I know I have, and that is going barreling into a group of enemy targets. The next thing you know, your vehicle gets EMP'd and you have about six plasma grenades sticking to your hood. You pretty much did a suicide run and got nothing out of it. You want to engage the enemy, but keep it at a distance. Allow your gunner to do their work. Most importantly, do your best to keep an escape path available. You never know when you might need it. Now for something that is very important, and that is angles. Now I can't tell you how often I did not get the kill because the driver just wouldn't give me a good angle on the target, thus allowing him to escape. You want to position the Warthog somewhere your gunner can maintain fire on the target, so your team can get their kill. Now lastly, I want to talk about armor mods and tactical packages that directly affect vehicles. Your first one is Wheelman. Now this will affect the vehicle in two ways. It will give the vehicle a little more survivability by making it more resistant to EMP, thus shortening the amount of time you are stunned, and it gives the vehicle a slightly more hit points before it will explode. Second is the Gunner mod which will keep the turret from overheating so quickly and so you can sustain your fire longer. Now you can also walk normal speed if you are carrying a turret. And the third armor mod which isn't even available yet, it's brand new in fact. We won't have it available until either August 19th or August 20th and that's Survivor. Now what this one does is when your vehicle is about to explode, it will eject you from the vehicle so you can escape the coming explosion. Now I think it ejected everyone in the vehicle, it might be more effective. Like for instance, if just the driver has this on and he will be ejected, then the vehicle comes to a complete stop leaving your gunner holding the bag, uh, so to speak. Now I guess we'll see how this works exactly in a few weeks. Now that is about it for the Warthog Driving School. I hope you study. There will be a test. Now click on the link to see some people that have failed the course in the form of a montage. Now I'm going to leave this off here. If this video has helped you at all, please leave a like and share it with some of your friends. And don't forget to become a subscriber if you haven't already. 
for uh, some more Halo news and tips and tricks. This is the Cray Spartan, and I am out of here.